All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, on today's video, we're gonna be working on this food trailer. Uh, this customer started this build on their own and quickly realized it was um, a lot more than they could handle. We have a monstrous, uh, I'll say it's about a 10 foot hood in here. We're gonna be pulling out here in just a few minutes. And that's gonna get mounted up where the other door was. But in order to do that, we're gonna have to remove the whole entire ceiling structure, uh, add some reinforcement, and make sure this, this hood, I'd say, weighs a couple hundred pounds. So we're gonna reinforce the ceiling. We'll mount this uh, up into the wall and the ceiling. And then we've got a big giant hole we're gonna cut to mount the actual uh, fume extracting fan. So follow along, we're gonna do a couple of time lapses here of getting the ceiling panels down. Then we'll check back with you and go from there, thanks. Alright, so what we're doing here is we've realized after we started getting the ceiling panels down that the structure in the ceiling is not going to be adequate enough to hold what we've got. So I'm testing to see if we can basically restructure a wooden roof underneath the existing trailer roof to basically give us a whole lot more to attach to. Uh, here I'm testing it with a 2x3. We actually end up using 2x4s to do this. And we basically rounded the edges, got it to fit from side to side so the weight is supported over the wall. And you'll see me give the customer a call, see if they're okay with doing that. The other added benefit of this is going to be that you'll see later on in the video that we're able to add insulation into the ceiling to make the trailer stay a little bit cooler in the summer. All right, so we're back. Went to the to the store, and uh, found out lumber prices have definitely gone up. It's too damn high. We got these custom cut to length, perfectly fit inside this trailer. All we got to do is notch the corners, like you uh, you can see us doing here, and then they're gonna slide in right in between the uh, the walls. We're gonna attach them to the roof. We'll call them rafters, uh, kind of tie it into the metal framing, and then we'll be getting ready to uh, lift that giant monster hood in there and get it set up. So, keep watching.
All right, so next up, we're gonna get a hole cut here in the roof. And then right down here on the ground is the giant fan assembly. And we're gonna get that mounted up here on the roof and go on to the next phase of finishing up this install. All right, guys, so we're back up here on the roof of the food truck. We got the uh, the duct all foamed up and good. Now what we're gonna do to attach the blower fan is use this aluminum angle. And I've already kind of pre-cut it out and we fitted it, fit it on there. And I'm gonna apply some sealant on the back side of it. And then we're gonna drill a hole, put the wire down into the roof. So we'll get this run down into the roof here so we can wire it into the rest of it so here we go All right, so the roof is kind of soft. There's not a whole lot of structure in here, but uh, what we'll do next, or we'll attach, put some screws through here to actually attach it down. We're ready to kind of be done. We'll put a little bit of sealant in this crack, get that sealed up, and then we'll use lap sealant like you've seen in all our other videos, but now we're gonna drill a hole in the roof and feed this down in. All right, so me and Brad today, we're continuing our process here on the food truck. Uh, customer said he wanted to do some plexiglass on this big portion of the window. We were gonna use some of the old door to just board it up, but this will continue to get more light on the inside. So we're putting this aluminum channel here. We're mounting that along the frame. Then we're gonna slide the plexiglass into that section. and get her secured in there. We're gonna attach it to the, the window and the plexiglass to each other right here. Uh, then we'll actually permanently mount that window and we'll be done with this kind of phase. We started, we'll shoot around the front of the trailer. You can see we pulled off the electrical panel. Um, we're gonna get a whole new electrical box in there and get everything wired in and start testing it out. So go check it out and we'll catch in a few. So the customer, uh, we had, we had, we went back and forth with whether we wanted to put an air conditioner. So 
He's gonna put a ceiling in, but we went ahead and pre-wired an electrical wire um, or an air conditioner and framed it in. So all we'd have to do is cut some holes in the, in the roof here, set an air conditioner right on top, and you'd have AC in here. Um, we went back and forth with the, with the customer. We did not redo most of the electrical that was in here. So some of the stuff you see, you're like, that's, that's crazy or ridiculous. And it definitely is. There's, I think we've counted close to 40 outlets in here and there's no possible way that the power would actually power that. But uh, I'll show you kind of some of the things we did and you can see it. So here's where on the outside, we've got our 50 amp twist lock comes in. Power comes in. We'll go into the ceiling and then comes into our fancy new all right bear with us guys we're having a few camera issues here's all our electrical that we put in it's our new new panel got most of the stuff labeled there's a few things um, once he puts the lights in and stuff he'll be able to know what went where but all the old white romex you see was already here uh, we're not sure where he's going to put the light, so he's got a light here. We also threw a box on the wall. I uh, don't know if you guys saw, we added plexiglass here to the back section of the window. We reframed up their ceiling vent here. So that they, when they do the ceiling, they can add that. We put some blocking in for the customer to add the ceiling panel up. And then just cleaned it up, sealed our vent to the roof, and that's that. He's going to figure out his layout, add some more wall, I believe, behind the hood, and kind of go from there. This is a unique build in that we are only doing a portion of it, and he's going to do the rest. So it's definitely not how we would always leave stuff. We've got another food truck for the same customer coming up. And that's again how we had to deal with some wires that just kind of came out of the wall before uh, we've also added some outlets to the outside so if he wants to plug some LED lights or any of that kind of fun stuff he can do that all right well we hope you guys enjoyed this build video uh, it was kind of kind of splotchy this project's been going on and off for a couple weeks now the next one we're hoping to just get in and out so hope you guys like it if you enjoyed it please subscribe to the channel and give us a like or if you have any questions uh, comment below on things that you see or if you've got a food truck that needs some upgrades or renovations, give us a call. Thanks.